Hello, dear comrades. Um, you're a surgeon checking in again. So today's menu, 140i. Still struggle to pronounce it because uh, my brain just got used to the fact that we don't have modal engine size. We got modal and something BMW made new. So 135 is now 140. Uh, apparently the reason, as BMW's excuse, was we got more power now, so we should have a slightly higher number. Guys, if you know the real answer why BMW did that, please do let us know. We tried to find, we didn't quite get anywhere. So, let's go have a look what this one does. Better? Shorter? Okay, so, why is this baby Supra? Um, 2019, early 2019, the A90 Supra came out and everyone lost their shit because apparently, oh my god, too much BMW. Um, for us, it's a good thing because it is a BMW. Uh, everyone was thinking brand new engine, blah, 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 blah. No, not quite. B58 that is in this car and the same engine in the Supra has been around since 2015 on 340s, uh, 140s. So they scraped the N55, went with this ground up build. Um, seems to be quite a bit of a stronger engine. One glitch, let's play a little game, find the charge cooler on this. I'm gonna save you about 20 minutes of googling, it's inside the manifold now. Um, thank you BMW for messing literally with every and each um, performance car enthusiast because at this stage there is no reliable way of um, having a decent intercooler on this. Um, turbo design still the same thing, single unit twin scroll, Variable vein technology, um, we're putting out three, I think 340 horsepower at the engine BMW claims. Um, on internet you'll find that a lot of people say and they put out a lot more than BMW claims. Doesn't really matter. We're looking at, I think, just under 300 at the wheels on this. So 40%, sorry, 40 horsepower down um, from what BMW claims. So let's have a look what we can get out of it. This beast is going on stage one and can and filter in this. Let's go. Dear comrades, Baby Supra did us good. So what we're looking at, um, started three, what do we got? Sorry, 299.5 at the wheels, uh, finishing power 354.3. Okay, claimed output from BMW from factory at the engine, um, 340 horsepower, that equals to 300, give or take, we'll round it up, 300 at the wheels on dyno. So the new power 354.3 is about 17, 18, 19, 90 percent, give or take. Um, we're past 400 on this. So yay for little um, baby super 400 at the end, not a bad result. Now let's have a look where that power is through the rev range. That's our horsepower curve. Easiest way, let's switch to this screen. That's pure gains. Flat line is stock car. This is running stage one. So we got 17 horse up, we got 27 horse up at 3.8 thousand RPM. Um, all the way throughout, we're up to 51, and right up top, we got 58.78. Uh, give me one second, let's check my math. 19.89%. So coming up 20% up um, on peak power. Switching over to torque, the stuff that actually makes you feel like you're going fast used to be floating about 3, 322 foot pounds at the wheels, we're now 356.4. Again, switch over to this screen, just so we can see clear gains. 21 foot pounds, we've got 33 foot pounds, moving on at 3.6 thousand, we've got 36. Switch over to the top, 47.6 foot pounds at the wheels. Cool, so to sum it up, uh, Baby Supra, aka 140, is one little mean machine. I know it looks like a shopping cart, but this is what I like about it. This is something you can hunt around the track. I think it's a great replacement for 135s. Um, don't get me started on what they did with the new 135s. This is just a little sad. Uh, I would much rather take one of these. So we got 400 horsepower car. LSD is available to order from BMW. Only with minor mods, you got 400, beautiful track machine. Um, really quick hack around town. 
Um, go buy one, uh, bloody brilliant. Eurosurgeon side enough.